Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh, your super incredibly handsome, horrific science teacher. And in this video, we're going to talk about applying labs. HandsomeScienceTeacher.com, every mastery badge includes or concludes, concludes, that means ends, with an applying lab. Why? What is an applying lab? Well, an applying lab is kind of like the quiz or the final test, the final exam of the mastery badge, except that quizzes and tests and exams are stupid, so we don't do those. We instead, we prove our knowledge by doing an applying lab. I When I say they're stupid, I'm not really being fair because they're important. Tests and quizzes and things are important. You need to prove your knowledge. Well, you need to, sh the teacher needs to know that you know the thing that you learned. But multiple choice quizzes and stuff, they're not super great. So we aren't going to do that. Instead, we do a dis we do an applying lab. I almost said discovering lab. We do an applying lab. An applying lab is your opportunity to take your knowledge and solve a problem. And essentially, if you have the knowledge in your head, if you have learned it, then you are going to be successful at the applying lab. If you do not have the knowledge yet in your head, that's okay. It just means you need more time. So you're going to take more time and learn it. And then you're going to do the applying lab and be successful. And when you conclude or complete an applying lab, I will know, you will know, everyone in the whole universe will know, and we will all clap for you, metaphorically, because you were successful. You cannot complete an applying lab without knowing the stuff, without having the knowledge in your brain. So an applying lab will present you with a problem and it will make you, uh, in order to solve the problem, you will have to use your knowledge that you gained as you did the other assignments, the discovering lab, the video and the literacy assignment. You'll use that knowledge, the knowledge you gained throughout the mastery badge on the applying lab to solve said problem. So here's the deal because you do not want to be a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. You do not want to be a, uh, you want to really truly take ownership and make sure that you are successful. So in order to not cheat, you need to use your own knowledge when you are doing an applying lab. Okay, so pull the information from your brain and spit it up onto the whatever it is. We do a lot of creating models. Um, well, there's a lot of different things, the diagrams and things that we'll do in applying labs. It will never be multiple choice. Okay. When you finish the applying lab, you are going to, you or a parent or a guardian or your pet panda or somebody is going to grade it. And so they're going to evaluate you and they're going to look at your results and see, yes, wow, this is amazing. This this person, this child of mine, this half size human, they truly do know what they did learn the stuff. Or they're going to look at it and they're going to burst into tears and they're going to be like, oh, my child, my poor, precious child does not know the thing. But that's OK, because then if you don't know the thing, you're going to go back and you're going to study some more. Rewatch the video, uh, not this video, but the video that goes with that mastery badge and maybe read the article you read on the literacy assignment again and look over your results from the discovering lab and take some time and then you're going to go do the applying lab again and guess what maybe you'll pass it that time but if you don't that's okay too because you get as many tries as you want there is no minimum or maximum number of tries that's not how learning works 
Okay, learning doesn't work by you getting one or two tries. You get as many tries as you want because when you learn it, then you will know it and that will be great and you will be, you will sparkle maybe. I don't promise you'll sparkle, but you will be awesome. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes, all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your uh, your science student. So sign up, subscribe to the channel, and I release lots of videos. Also, in addition to these ones, lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics. Those ones you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted, and those ones are scripted, so you don't have to hear me like you are right now, going blah, blah, blah. The end. Uh, subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.